Hey, I'm Christy. Thanks for watching. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to make your marketing and your business distraction proof. With so much business happening digitally now, it's so easy to feel like the content that you make is one distraction away from getting completely missed or buried in someone's feed or inbox. With the holidays upon us, it's only going to intensify. So today, I want to help you become distraction proof with your marketing. I recommend that the strategy you take is to center the bulk of your content around strategic brand stories. And I know that might sound a little counterintuitive, but when things in life get chaotic and busy, People want something to help them take a break, relax, and calm down, and you want to have some engaging, interesting, entertaining content that can do that for your audience. And you do not have to be a Hollywood screenwriter to do this. I'm going to share exactly how to stay at the forefront of your ideal client's mind, your audience, when they're looking at your content. But first, I want to share five reasons why Sharing your brand stories can make your business distraction proof, especially during the holiday season. Your brand stories help people get to know you and see you as a leader in your industry. And the more people get to know you and see you as a leader, the less selling you're going to have to do because they're already going to look at you as an authority in your space. So that's the first one. The second one is that people are going to be more willing to pay higher rates for what you offer because when they enjoy your content and see you as a leader and they connect with you on a regular basis, they will see your brand, what you offer as a premium brand. And so they will anticipate spending more on whatever it is that you're selling. That's number two. Three they will become more interested in your content and actually want to take a break and take a look when you are connecting with them and engaging with them. So they're gonna do the work for you of shutting out the distractions to have a moment with you and see what's new with you because they enjoy you and you help them relax, but they still feel like they're getting value and they're learning something when you share content with them. And fourth, not only is this going to help you stay at the front of their mind, but it's going to develop brand loyalty because they look forward to spending time with you. They enjoy what you offer. So they don't view you as a commodity that they can just switch and ditch the next time another brand who offers what you do comes along because they have a relationship with you. You are becoming vulnerable, sharing some of your stories not that they need to share your deepest, darkest secrets, but just like any relationship in life, the more you get to know somebody, the deeper your relationship is. And as the brand, the onus is on you to open up and share. And so they are going to connect with you and become more loyal to you. And fifth, they are going to be more likely to share your content with their friends. And that is worth its weight in gold. Okay, so those are five reasons why I think you should use your brand stories to help you become distraction proof to your audience in the content that you create. So now let's talk about five steps to implement that in your business. And story and strategy are my favorite things. So I'm really excited to dive into this part with you. First up, let's get strategic. I want you to think about the content that you create in terms of what your audience's pain points are that you solve for them. Because if you're not speaking to what they need and you can't relate to them, they're going to tune out. So let's keep that at the forefront and go ahead and jot down the top one or two pain points that you solve for your audience. And second, I want you to identify your personal or professional experiences that relate to those pain points so that you can start to um, at least write down some keywords that will jog your memory to which experiences can really connect with your audience. And don't just say, I got them all up here because come on, it's crazy up there. There's so many thoughts we have going on. Get them down on paper, on your computer, wherever it is, but get them out of your head. 
Third, I want you to think about which platforms your audience goes to to learn about your industry. Where do they go and search for answers? Is it Google? Is it Pinterest? Is it YouTube? Is it social media? Where are they going? And if you're not sure, then start asking them wherever you connect with them now, whether that's on calls, in meetings, social media, email marketing, whatever, but start to find out where they go for your industry answers, because that's really where you want to communicate. And you want to find out more than one, because as we all witnessed with the recent Google outage, you need to have more than one place that you are sharing your information. And now fourth, I want you to write down your core brand story in a way that's going to be really easy for you to share anywhere, anytime, at least in bits and pieces. And I know this can sound really daunting. So to simplify that, here are three ways that you can break down the pieces of your story that you really want to make sure you're connecting with your audience. And first is what interested you in your industry? They want to know that can help draw them to you. So make sure that you include that in what you share. And the next is it's one thing to have an interest in an industry, but what made you go so far that you decided to sacrifice everything and start a business on that? Because that means shutting out a lot of other potential things and really going for it. So what did that look like for you? And then third is what has the journey been like so far? What's been most surprising? What's been the strangest thing? What's been the scariest thing? What's been the funniest thing? Whatever it is that you think will engage with your audience, that you have a story to share that could interest them, surprise them, help them engage, that is what you want to share. So those are three easy ways to think about the pieces of your brand story that you can start including and sharing with your audience today. Now, I know this is the hard part. Believe me, <laughs> that's why this is actually my signature service is helping people identify the pieces of their story that are going to connect the best to their audience and then crafting it for them. So if you need help with that, please feel free to reach out. Now, after you have your story taken care of and you've jotted down those pieces, the fifth piece that I want you to do is start including that in your content. So you're going to go back to those, those platforms that your audience already told you where they go to find out the most about your industry. And you are going to make sure to start sharing content there and incorporating pieces of those stories that we talked about in the last step in the, on those platforms, in addition to your website and your email welcome sequence, because those are pieces of your business, your digital pieces of your business that you own. So even if you're sharing on social media or other platforms, you really want to make sure that that information is also shared on your website and in your email welcome sequence. And if you don't yet have an email welcome sequence, you really want to start because that is opened more than any other email that you're ever going to share. And that can really help solidify new subscribers. And I do have one bonus for those of you overachievers. I have a secret sixth step. So if you really want to get out there and dominate the marketplace, then you need to start pitching yourself to be a guest on other podcasts. Even if you have your own podcast, you need to get in front of other audiences. So go ahead and start pitching to other podcasts so that you can be a guest. It gives you instant credibility as an expert with their audience. I feel like every time I do this, clients come from it. And so I highly recommend this if you really want to knock it out of the park. And next week, make sure to come back because I'm going to be sharing my Black Friday, Cyber Monday tips for you so that you can really get out there and succeed this holiday season. Thanks for watching.